extra, extra, read all about it. Meet Farmer Sue. She's a digging in her plot of land. But oh, what's this? Seems she's out of luck. Her crops have failed her. Guess it's time to pack up and move on. There she goes, all defeated black. Such a sad tale. On this plot of land, Farmer Sue and her family have been clearing and farming for generations. This has taken its toll on the land and soil, so that the land is unsuitable for agriculture, forcing Farmer Sue to abandon her once crop-filled land. Whoa! Welcome to 1969. Meet Sage. She's one far-out flower child. She loves Mother Earth and all things loving. But the man is trying to develop this land. Luckily, Sage is one groovy chick and won't leave the field until they promise to leave it alone. It's been many years since Farmer Sue has farmed the land. As time has passed, ecological succession has taken place. Certain species of vegetation have grown that are specially adapted to the unstable soil conditions. These species are called pioneers, or early successional species. Pioneers tend to be small and short-lived. During this early stage of ecological succession, biological diversity and biomass are steadily increasing. Save Mother Earth! Save Mother Earth! You won, Sage. You beat the man. Keep on doing your thing. It's the year 2010. We're about to meet Jenny on her mid-afternoon run. Even though Jenny is new age and high tech, what with her iPod and all, she still likes to be one with nature as the forest is her favorite place to run. It's been 41 years since Sage saved the field from being developed. During this time, the later stages of ecological succession have taken place. The plants that have grown are called late successional species and tend to be slower growing and longer lived. They have evolved and adapted to the land and include trees and larger plants. This stage of succession is the final stage. Throughout the process of succession, changes in the environment have occurred. Gross production has increased while net production has decreased. Chemical cycling has also changed. This means organic matter in the soil has increased, as did the amount of chemical elements stored in the soils and trees. Biomass and biodiversity has also increased greatly. Let's recap. Remember Farmer Sue? She overfarmed her field, which depleted the soil, forcing her family to abandon the useless land. Who could forget Sage? This hippie fought to save the land, which had undergone early stages of ecological succession. Small species of vegetation had grown out of this once barren land. And finally, Jenny, the runner from present day. She ran through a full-grown forest that had once been a desolate plot of land.